Welcome back to Math Window. Solve this equation. 25 to the power x, then minus 15 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power of x. How can I solve it? I think you have noticed that 25 is 5 squared, and 15 is 5 then times 3, and 9 is 3 squared. Since this, we have to divide it by 9 to the power of x on the both hand sides. So now, we divided 9 to the power of x on the both hand sides. Okay, it is 25 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x and then minus 15 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. Now we have to do some simplifies. It's 25 divided by 9, all to the power of x, take this x out, minus for this fraction also, oh. 9 to the power of x, then divided 9 to the power of x, the numerator and the denominator are same, so it's 1. Because I said that, these three numbers were very beautiful. 25 is 5 squared, 9, 3 squared, 15, 3 then times 5. So we can simplify them. 25 then divided by 9 is 5 divided by 3, all squared, and then, don't forget, all to the power of x, minus they have a common factor. They both have a same factor, that is 3. So it is. We can simplify it. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now you can see 5 over 3. 5 over 3. To the power of x. Power of x. Because this can be written as 5 over 3 also power of x and then all squared. So now we have to do substitutions. Substitute. We can let 5 over 3 also power of x is t. And then this equation can become a quadratic equation of t. So we can let right here. Okay. Let 5 over 3 all to the power of x is equal to t. And then, a quadratic equation of t. t squared minus t is equal to 1. Minus 1 on the both hand sides. So this is the equation. We have to solve the value of t because t is 5 over 3 all to the power of x. x is a real number. So t t is greater than zero. It is positive. So now we have to find the positive root of this equation. It's very easy, isn't it? Now you can solve now you can solve t one plus square root of 5 and then all divided by 2. What's the value of x? 5 divided by 3 then also the power of x is equal to t. So, solve the value of x from this equation. Of course, you have to use logarithms. If we get a natural log on both sides, and we can get... Now we have to do some simplifies, because x is on the shoulder of 5 over 3. So, take it out, and then x times the natural log of 5 over 3. Is equal to the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5, and then divided by 2. Because the natural log of 5 over 3, it can be written as the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 3. This. It can be written as 
the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5, and then minus the natural log of 2. The left-hand side becomes x then times this, and the right-hand side becomes this. So we have to divide it by natural log of 5 minus natural log of 3 on the both sides. So the value of x becomes the natural log of 1 plus square root of 2, square root of 5, minus the natural log of square root, the natural log of 2, and then over the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 3. And give me some love, subscribe my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!